Believe it or not, there are some gadgets that will help you save money. We've turned to Steve Greenberg to uh, walk us through it. Green yes. sweater, Greenberg. All works. <laughs> it's all about saving green. Now, you have to spend a little money to get these gadgets. Absolutely. But, but what kind of money are we going to save? In the long save? run, you're either saving green or you're saving the planet or a combination of both. So it's always good to think green. For example, this one is maybe not a big money saver, but certainly a neat idea. This is a hands-free speakerphone for your car. But instead of plugging it into the charge of your car, it's got a solar cell. So when you stick it to the windshield of your car like that, it just charges all the time. You don't have to worry about buying batteries. You exactly. don't have to plug it into your car. Exactly. And it, it's Bluetooth, so it's hands free, well. safer. Works great. I've actually tried that. Works terrific. It's from a company called Anycom. It's great for people with older cars that don't have that latest Bluetooth technology. Exactly. It's very cool. This is a wind up crank remote control. <laughs> kind of a gimmick, I admit. But you know what? You don't have to buy batteries for it. And those aren't batteries that are going into our landfill, so it's great. Okay. It'll save you some money. So if it loses its charge, do you have to reprogram it or will it no, remember? No, it, it remembers the charge. Nice. remembers what And then you just have to charge it up like this. So okay. it's very smart. And you know when somebody's Changing the channel. Hey, I hear you in there. Yeah, the kids are you know, the kids are cranking their and again, instead of just being couch potatoes, they're actually exercising. Very, very <laughs> just little. a little bit very of exercise little. there. Now we all know the importance of compact fluorescent bulbs. If each one of us changed one bulb in our house to a compact fluorescent, it'd be like taking a million cars off the road environmentally. But a lot of times they're kind of ugly. We don't like them. I can't them. do that math in my head, but I'll. I'll okay, it's I'll true. Trust it's true. You. They okay. tell me it's true. The U.S. government says it's true. It must the be true. Says it's true. true. It's it must be true. true. Right, right. Anyway, this is from GE. This is their new new Wait swirl a bulb. GE, the parent company of NBC. BC. A moment as we give a salute. There we go. Uh, this is brand new from them. It represents 12 additional patents. They're very proud of that. It looks, this is their wait, it looks like a regular light bulb. Exactly. It's the exact same shape of the regular light bulb, even the neck part. And what's cool about it, first, it looks good. But then things like a lamp harp will fit over it. If you have those uh, shades that snap onto a bulb, all those things that the spirally ones couldn't do, that's you a, now can do with GE. That's a bulb. huge advance in the technology. Absolutely. They're, and they're really proud of it. And I, I'm not just saying that because I love working for GE. G the parent company of NBC. Uh, <laughs> this is an LED bulb. Now, this is what you're going to see more and more. These are just LED bulb? LED. Okay. This is compact fluorescent. A different technology is this. There's no moving parts. There's no filament inside it. And we've got one burning right here. Touch it. If you Touch would. the bulb. Touch the bulb. It's been on for a, at least oh, an it's hour. It's just a little bit warm. It never gets hot, hot. So it's not, not putting heat. And these it. last for a long time? These last 13 years. So that's wow. a long time. They cost more, and right now they're in spots, but you're going to see these in big stores uh, like the Walmarts and Kmarts. And what and does whatever. an LED light like that go for? About 30 bucks, 35 bucks. Okay, it's a little but if you add it up over 13 years. You say over the life of the bulb, it's still going to save you money. This one will save you about $36 over the life of the bulb. This one, even more now, uh, based on the electricity. In state. your house, people spend a lot of money heating it during the winter, air conditioning it during the summer. The best thing, you, One of the best things you can do to save money is get a programmable thermostat. There are a ton of them on the market, and... Bill is going to now take the face off. Is this, is Big challenge. This Drum roll, everybody. We've got two thermostats right here from two different companies, both around $80. This is a Honeywell. This mm -hmm. is their uh, Focus Pro, I believe. And this one is called uh, Climate, uh, is from the company called Climate. Both look very cool, both around $80. If you were shopping in a store, which one do you think consumers liked after they got home? Well, I th at first glance, I kind of like this because it has nice clean lines it's all and touch everything. Screen, very but cool. as I looked at the display, is a little clearer on this one. and. I think this is probably the one that they He's prefer. a winner. Let's give him a little applause. Is that right? Absolutely. Let me, let me give you the, the answers right here. A company called Bazillions.com does surveys on products, real products from real consumers who have it, and they found that without a question, this one came in the bottom 10% mm. from Climate. This one from Honeywell, top 10%, and it was ease of programming that separated the two. That's my biggest problem. I, I just have it on the same temperature all the time because I don't know how to program my thermostat. 70% of people who buy programmable thermostats leave it on the hold button, and they just change it each time. And I'm, I'm actually one of those people, too. Now, is this one this easy one to program? This one is absolutely the, the one that anyone can program. Here. It doesn't even come with an instruction booklet. It's from Honeywell. It's their prestige line. And what's cool about it, let me just see if we can walk you through it. We'll get a little tight shot on here. It's got this beautiful screen on it. Very pretty. But, oh, let's go back to... Oh, see what I just did? Uh, that terrible? You do? I pushed the Maybe wrong button. Do you there need we go. No, I don't. I don't. Here, because create, there is no instruction book. There's no problem. Can, can guide me through the process. What days... Are we talking about? There you go. You can go to the next step. And it says, it asks you, is someone going to be home all day? Uh, no. Uh, what time do you wake up in the morning? And you go next. What time do you leave the house? And you just plug oh. it in. And it walks you through the process, asking you logical questions. And then it does the back That's job of programming it. Finally. It's taken how many Simple. years has, has the thermostat been around? They finally get one. Honeywell finally came up with a really smart. And by the way, you can get extra features like this is a remote for it from the bedroom. And here's an outdoor thermostat, all available as kind of add-ons to the prestige. Again, from Somebody Honeywell. Somebody want to have a wind-up remote where you can control it? Oh, there's an idea. All right. I'm, I'm just thinking, there. Okay, all right. Okay, now we all have those big uh, hot water heaters in our house, those big mm -hmm. 
Well, this is a tankless hot water heater. You can throw that out and you can replace it with this. This is from a company Wait called a EcoSmart. This little thing replaces the huge water heater that you might have? So first of all, you gain you know? a closet, which, yay, an extra closet space. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a small apartment, so I, that's really important for me. What, and so you get the closet space, but also you save money on it. This will cut your the temperature. It's smaller you, than a toaster. Exactly. It's, it's really small, and it heats the water when you need it. So right now, while you're all here on the show, your hot water heater is just sitting there keeping your temperature at the same temperature all day long for no reason. This only turns on when you want the water. When you turn off the water, it turns off automatically. You don't have to throw a switch. You just turn the faucet on. And it automatically turns on. And it'll save you about a third on your heating, the amount of money you're spending now on it, which can be hundreds of dollars because hot water is a really expensive and item. And so how much does this go for? About $250. And if your electric rates are even higher, you'll end up it's saving ex more money. Exactly, then. exactly. So it's really smart. It's from a company called EcoSmart, and this book got huge ratings from consumers. Speaking of EcoSmart, what have you done here? This is, uh, of course, my book, Gadget Nation, which is carefully placed there, and a nice plug. And, and I think that information is available at GadgetNation.com. No, no, dot net. net. GadgetNation.net is what he meant to say. This is from a company called Way Basics. You can get it on a site called ThisIsGreen.com. What is this? this is a cube that they make all furniture made from recycled paper. Now you're thinking, oh, it's going to feel like cardboard, and. It doesn't feel like cardboard. It has a wow. real kind of wood-like feel to That's it. That's recycled paper? And I put it together. It, just, it comes with tape that you just kind of glue the pieces together. And to prove how strong it is, uh -oh. we're going to do the impossible here. We didn't go over this with the director, so hopefully he won't get mad at me. It will what? hold me. That's incredible. I don't know. What about will hold you and your book? And the book at one time. Paper. Recycled paper. See, it all makes sense. Really? And again, that's from thisisgreen.com. Mm -hmm. Here's another cool product. This is Binky Bears. And what I like about this, these are just, these are cute little, they're bears with little, little pacifiers built into them. But what's neat about it, everything about it is made from recycled products. And it's completely green. Even the paper is recycled. It comes Re in packaging. Recycled stuffed animals? Recycled, well, no, it's recycled what? whatever, cotton products and whatnot. <laughs> in recycled stuffed animals. No, no, no. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. Make new ones. Yeah, that sounds just too cruel. No, no. It's made from, <laughs> he's just, there's a mean side to build that we just don't know about. But Binky Bears, besides being really cute is very green and typical of green products and look at this he's picturing a machine that's gobbling oh, up. Yeah. oh, oh that's terrible oh, my I God. want that imagery in my mind it sounds like a scary Disney movie all right movie. I'm glad that's not happening and finally, finally last but not least this is the eco smart button and what this does you plug this into your laptop and when you push it it automatically puts your laptop into hibernate mode to save energy when you want to go back to it you push it again it pops it right back where you were before and it lets you know how much money you save the energy it has a little software to do that as well and it's under twenty dollars. Kind of a neat like idea. A, like a little easy button for your computer just it, to save some energy. Exactly. That's and you know what the best part about this product is? Steve, tell me what is the best part about this product? We've got one for everybody in the audience. Yes. Yay! Steve. Oh, Steve Greenberg.